What's up guys? Today I'm coming at you with a knife I thought I'd share with you. Uh, it is a Gonzo. Um, it's uh, The model number on it is a G7531-CF, which the CF stands for carbon fiber. Um, really hard to show the knife the way I'm standing, but we're gonna try it anyway. Um, the blade comes with a silky sack or um, some sort of, I don't know, I doubt it's silk, it's probably synthetic something. But anyway, beside all that, it comes with a nice little bag. Uh, there's been a thousand reviews of this knife done. I just thought I'd add my take to it. Uh, it's a good looking knife for 20 bucks. You can't beat that. I think it was $22, something like that. It's got anodized hardware. It is an axis lock, uh, carbon fiber. You got a it's tip up, a right or left hand carry only. Uh, well, it didn't fire very good like that. I tend to fire them with a thumb stud because that's what I'm used to. But uh, I mean, all you gotta do is like open it and somewhere like that. Uh, I've got a a few of these. Uh, you know, when you're standing up, it's more like a gravity knife, and you can, you know, just open it and flick it, but. The way I'm standing, I can't do it. Uh, if I had it down beside me, I could throw it open. But I mean, it's a good looking knife. I just thought I would, uh, there's a little Firebird symbol on it. It's 440C steel. Uh, it's made in China. Got a little bit of jumping right here on the back. Uh, on the thumb ramp, a little jumping on the thumb ramp. You got dual thumb studs. Uh, you got a little lantern in the back. The knife is about eight inches overall. The blade is four inches. If you look at right here on the top of the knife, right before you go into, you know, like the clip angle of the knife, it's really, really thick and beefy. Uh, it's really, I've tried to make this video three times and that jackass won't shut up and all this fucking traffic won't start stop coming but I'm gonna go with this video so it's gonna have some cursing in it I'm gonna show uh, how sharp it is uh, you know like I said for $20 you cannot beat that uh, this is a, see it'll even do a let's see if we can get it to S well I try to do it it won't do it but I mean, this is a really good knife for the money that you pay for it. I uh, bought it on Amazon. I think you can get them at maybe Gearbest or lots of different places that sell them. But, you know, if you don't get the black box in the silky sack, you're going to get a fake. I don't know how well you can see inside there, but you can see those bronze washers in there. Uh, so this thing ain't no joke. And I think that's how it's originally supposed to open. Uh, but for 20, I think it was $22 with tax and all. You can't beat this. I mean, it's just as good. I mean, it's a bench made copy uh, for the money. Shit, I, you can't beat it. It's got a little bit of a chill there, but not much. Uh, it's got, a, it feels good in the hand. It's got finger groove here. I don't really know what else I could add to it other than there's a little jump in here. I really like this knife and I don't know, I'm just kind of blown away by it. I just think it's a beautiful knife and full of money. Uh, if you don't have any Gonzo knives or you like the, the bench made knives and uh, can't afford them, just be something to look into. But anyway, thought I'd show this to y'all. Hope everybody's having a good day. I appreciate you watching it. Later.